and welcome back to perhaps our final time lapse of our long-term project in Cities Skylines. Now today we are going to be doing two areas, that's right, not one, but two areas. They are slightly smaller, but we did manage to complete both of them on stream. One being a uh, luxurious camping ground filled with log cabins and chalets, the other being a golf course for those higher and uh, wealthier uh, residents of Camembert Coast. And like I said, this will be the last one of the series. The next video out from this will be a, uh, a short overview video of everywhere that we've built and looking at all the time lapses together. But without further ado, let's jump on in and let's talk about what we've seen. So first of all, for this lakeside cabin area, we take out the sand from the river and start mapping out our road into this area, um, respecting the terrain as per usual, and then slightly terraforming this area to give it as close a feel to the water, marking out roughly where our train station is going to be, nice rural station just there, and then using this uh, gravelly road um, to outline the area adding in a few of those log cabins and then going crazy with the amount of chalets alongside this water there is a ton of them i was going to swear but an absolute ton of them ranging in color size and all this uh, these beautiful assets that you can see us placing down now now we also want this to be a functional area so we use the nature reserve from the uh, parks uh, park life dlc adding in some areas, taking out some of the trees with the B.O.B. mod, and then adding in these piers, changing the color so it kind of fits in a little bit more. A little few more assets, um, a nice water tower to fit the area, and then obviously we need to play around with the water levels as well, adding in those final props. And I believe what we also did, here we go, is take out all the trees, and we wanted a nice mix of some large redwoods, uh, you can see us placing in, um, a few of these pines as well and then slowly adding in um, a mix of the ones that we already had in the area um, adding in some commercial buildings to make the area functional um, as you get off the train and adding in these beautifully slightly worn down decals and then finally just to bring this place to life we added in a couple of little islands into the center uh, thankfully we didn't flood too much <laughs> adding in these like dirt decals a pathway some trees some extra um, props and uh, buildings some rocks just to give this place a little bit of life and obviously adding in those trees and here you can see the area that we started off with fairly nice i would say so um it definitely could have used a bit of a touch up and it looks nice where this water wall used to be and you can see that we've completely transformed this area it looks lovely i really enjoyed this and it definitely gives a, a little bit of a luxurious camping vibe to the area and then next also a very short one uh, we connected up the uh, road connection into this area this is the only transport in and out of this area i didn't think any would um, really fit um, adding in some roundabouts at the end because this is going to be the forefront of our main building uh, which is a lovely golf course asset and you can see that here just throwing a road behind it so we can make this also a functional park area um, adding in these pathways along the coastline because we had to fit 18 18 holes into this area i didn't realize it was such a big um, amount i thought this was just a nine hole pack when i downloaded it but we are making use of all the space here making them all slightly darker again just to blend in with the um, the color and the LUTs of this area adding in some trees and then taking out the ones that are overlapping and adding in a small clubhouse at the halfway point point. and here as always you can see the before area lots and lots of trees again very dead space we definitely need to utilize this to to kind of bring out the the map as such and you can see it very simple design but it works very well that beautiful uh, golf course um, main building in the foreground with some decoration and that is it for today thank you so much uh, here you can see the um the golf course to start off with if you like this video please hit the like button feel free to subscribe because cs2 is only a couple weeks away and you better be sure that we are going to be making lots of content so feel free to subscribe to the channel to catch up here you can see a little bit more of that like side those chalets beautiful little area 
And yeah, thank you so much for following along with this series if you liked it. Um, please feel free to comment down below. Tell me how much you are, how much you love it. And in that case, I will see you when City Skylines 2 comes out. And feel free to check us out live on opening week on Twitch. We'll be learning a bit more about the game. And every Saturday, therefore after, we'll be making some more time lapses. Thank you very much. And I'll see you next time.